Another guy that uh, they traded back into the first round to get, Michael Porter Jr. And some of the national people, I'm sorry, Kevin Porter Jr., um, yep. they feel, feel like he might be the steal of the draft. Uh, just talent-wise alone, there are people that think he's top five talent in this draft. Talk a little bit about uh, uh, Porter Jr. So, Dave, I think he's equally terrifying and tantalizing. <laughs> there's a lot There's a lot that you have to worry about. Uh, he was suspended twice at USC. Um, he didn't get a ton of minutes at USC. The numbers overall are not what you would expect from a first-round pick under 10 points per game. Um, but he is considered maybe the best ISO score in the entire draft. Um, and having that kind of guy uh, maybe coming off the bench in the future or taking some pressure off Colin Sexton or Darius Garland in the future, um, I think that's going to be meaningful. Um, he has to figure it out. He has to learn how to be a professional now that he's in the NBA. He has to mature. Um, he has to keep his emotions in check. He has to show that he's willing to be coached. Um, all of those things um, are huge question marks, and it explains why a talented kid falls to the 30th pick of the first round. Uh, this was a draft, though, Dave, that a lot of people felt like, I don't know, after three, maybe four, maybe five, there wasn't a ton of star power to be found. Um, so the Cavs were willing to take the risk. I talked to one member of the Cavs organization throughout the entire process that continued to bring up Kevin Porter Jr.'s name. I wrote it over and over and over again that the Cavs were interested. They interviewed him at the Combine. They had a private workout with him on June 9th here in Cleveland, a second meeting with John Beeline for Kevin Porter to get a feel for the coach and the coach to get a feel for the kid. And all along, um, my source in the Cavs front office kept saying, this is one of the 10 most talented players in the draft. That's the kind of talent that he possesses. Um, he showed it before he got to USC. There's a reason why he was a really highly regarded high school kid coming out of Seattle. He played at the same high school as DeJounte Murray of uh, the San Antonio Spurs, who ironically fell to about the same position in the draft because of some questions about him off the court. Um, the Cavs decided, after getting a rotation guy they feel like, in Windler at number 26, and a guy that they feel really, really confident in, in Darius Garland, that the talent was just way too much to pass up. And the reason why the Cavs had spent uh, the last couple of years acquiring so many draft assets is so that they could go out and make a move like this. Porter was a guy that they liked all along, and they felt like uh, they needed to go out and get him, so they did.